life. It's a story we all go through. We don't get to choose where we come from or what happens to us. The only control we have is how we choose to cope. An example would be my cancer. I remember when I first told my sister, Ollie. She's the only other kid I told at the orphanage because I thought she'd care. Um, I'm dying. I'm on stage three. She said nothing. She just stayed quiet. Then she left. I don't blame her. Sometimes I would catch myself looking in the mirror, thinking cancer defines me. I started noticing my hair fall out. But then I thought, maybe I won't look so bad bald. I was wrong. I still went through chemotherapy, even though I knew it was a complete waste of time. It made me feel as though I had a chance. But I already know how my story is going to end. Why? Why what? Why do you have to die? I don't know. You promised you'd always be there for me. Sometimes promises can't be kept. Just because you're dying, it doesn't mean you're alone. What about my sister? I don't have all the answers right now. Talk to your brother. I want you to make me a promise. And just like that, Zane was gone. When my brother was diagnosed with cancer, I shut him out. And now there's nothing I can do to get him back. The day he died, I made him a promise. I promised him I wouldn't cry when he's gone. I broke that promise.